morning, Smashers. You ready for another day? Yeah, you're ready for another day. I love this. It says, kill Cliff. I don't even know Cliff. It seems kind of mean, doesn't it? I mean, what did he do to me? Didn't do anything. It's a cool shirt. I love these guys. These guys make killer product. And, uh, and actually, their clothes are pretty legit. A bunch of good dudes, too. And I was hanging out with them at the game. So a bunch of cool people. So we're going to be talking about, guess what? More shoulder stuff. You guys asked. I told you uh, my rehab is your prehab. So I'll just fire everything I got at you and make sure these shoulders are pretty much indestructible. Like I said yesterday, immune to any injury, barring any like absolutely spastic things you guys would do. So listen, if you guys injure your shoulders trying to, you know, snatch 450 and your one rep max is 225, I'm out of the picture. I'll just come back and put you together after you completely obliterate this joint. But other than that, let's make it super stable. Stability, mobility, you know what? And flexibility. Those are all strength. So what happens is I'm going to be talking about the uh, long head of the tricep attaches to the uh, to the scapula, right? On the um, on the glenoid fossa, and then the uh, the uh, levator scapula. Now that's a big one. It's this ropey muscle comes from the, the top of the cervical spine and hits that scapula up on the top, and it stabilizes and rotates that scapula a little bit. But the problem is everybody holds their stress like this, and then when we do that triple extension and Nobody's early pulling, right? After my post. Nobody's early pulling on their on their snatches and their cleans, right? Yeah, we don't want to blow a bicep tendon. Touch wood, touch wood. I got another shiny head again today. Must be all the muscle ups I did this morning. I did a ton. My buddy uh, Justin, Dr. Justin Brown, he's a cool dude. He, uh, I'm, I'm helping him with some uh, road to the games. I'm gonna try and get this guy to the games this year. Um, give me a pretty killer workout. I know this is like tangent, no segue in what I'm saying, but hey, listen, if they had to diagnose me, it'd be A-D-D-D-D-D-D-D-D, like it'd just be all over the place. But a pretty killer workout. It was 12.96 of um, clean and jerks at 185 and muscle ups. I bumped it up to 205 and uh, did my muscle ups unbroken. That was the whole goal. So it was pretty spicy. I had a little Fran cough going on and obviously a shiny head. So shoulders are a good thing to talk about because that involved a ton of shoulders. So log into the triceps, levator scapula comes up into that cervical spine, comes off the scapula. So it'll jack up your neck, it'll give you a headache, and it'll mess up your shoulder. So we're gonna open up that shoulder and then we're gonna peel all that stuff away. And I'm gonna give you one big funky shoulder opener that gives you a really good overhead position and, uh, and opens things up good for doing uh, muscle ups, bar, ring, um, chest to bars, things like that where you really have to kind of puff your chest out and come into an open position. Super cool stuff. So the first one is, we want to unglue all this stuff, by the way. It's super important. So first one is you're going to take a band. Now, if you can see me, great. It's like I'm the man in red today. I mean, red shoes, red. These are from winning Road Royalty, by the way. Did I tell you? I won that friggin' thing. Road Royalty. I rode a sub 120 for a 500. I thought I was gonna die. Panama, Van Halen, playing in the background, one of the best songs ever made. Yes, I'm that old. So you're gonna take a band like this. We're gonna do a shoulder opener. So you're gonna grab the band, loop it through so it's above the, uh, the uh, antecubital fossa, so it's above that elbow pit, whatever you wanna call it. You wanna call it something else. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna plant your hand behind your back like this. So, in the elbow, and then you're just gonna lean forward. Step forward like you're in a lunge, and then just push your chest out. So I'm letting the band drag me, drag that up and over. The big part is, is my hand is flat. Now I'd spin around, but it would do funky things. So my hand is flat against the back of my neck and I'm letting the band pull my shoulders all the way back as far as I can. And I'm just gonna hang out here for how long? Yeah, two minutes, baby. Hashtag two minutes, right? So band, up and over, hang out like this. Two minutes, it's gonna open up the shoulder. You might feel a little bark at the top of the shoulder. That's totally normal. And I really want you to make sure that you're tucking that in so you're peeling away that lat and that teres, that serratus, getting that all peeled away. That's number one. Let's see if I can do this without strangling myself on the band that's coming off right here. Boy, that'd be a trippy video, huh? Second one is, um, you're gonna loop into the band like this. You're gonna peel away that long end of the tricep. Now that long end of the tricep's gonna crank down on that scapula. It's gonna hijack all that motion. So your overhead motion, you're gonna hit this wall. You're gonna hit the uh, top of the labrum and the top of the, um, glenoid fossa and you can just beat it to death. So we don't want to do that because eventually that turns into arthritis and, uh, and a bunch of joint issues. So you know what, you can make these joints last as long as you just by doing all the stuff I'm giving you. Trust me, shoulder replacement, hip replacement, knee replacement, unless there's an injury, not normal, ever, ever. So you're gonna grab this, loop in, all you're gonna do is you're gonna come all the way up here and you're just gonna let this peel it all the way over. So it's similar to what I was just doing except now I'm hitting the tricep. So the band is dragging my arm up and over the shoulder and I'm gonna pull myself 
into the ring. And I'm going to hang out here again for how long? Yeah, we know this. Two minutes. That's number two. So I almost get smoked by that thing. Number three is a pretty easy one. It's going to look simple. Trust me, it's going to feel super fantastic. You're going to grab the band. So I've got the band. I'm just using my grip to hold it. You can see it's super loose. This is where I'm going to hit that levator. So I'm going to pull the shoulder away. So I'm loading up the shoulder. So it's dragging that scapula down. This is the key point. So it's going to drag my scapula down, pull it all the way. And you can even lean a little bit. I'm going to have you turn your head about 30, 45 degrees off to one side. And then just tuck your chin. Take your hand. Oh, that's just diabolical. And you're going to hang out like this for how long? Two minutes. And I might make you just sit here and watch me do this for two minutes because it feels that good, bad. It's like the good, bad hurt. Oh, when you come out, unload. So drag it. Let's, if this lets the scapula come down, depresses it a little bit, and it just tightens up everything. Turn your head, crank it over like this, hang out for two minutes. When you come up, come up real slow. This is one of those stretches that when you come out of it, man, it's, I know I keep looking over there, it's because these delivery guys are doing all kinds of gnarly stuff. And right now I'm sitting here going, just on a tangent again, surprise. I watched these guys, I went out and I did farmer carries today. With 150 pounds aside on these giant farmer carry bars, I went out about 50 feet and came back. These guys are walking around with little handheld forklifts that are powered. And they're one hand and they're talking on the phone. Come on! You got, just gets me irritated. Push that thing. Glossman says, build a barrier, build a hedge against disease. You know what? It's the truth. Make yourself so crazy healthy that stuff like that is just easy to do. You don't have to sit there. I was walking and I'm like, seriously? As I'm, you know, blood's coming out of my eyes, I swear. But we're building that hedge against disease and that's super important. If you watch Julie Fouché's podcast with Glassman uh, the other day, if you haven't watched it, it's podcast 35, watch it. It is so awesome. Man, Greg goes over some stuff that I just, like, I'm a doctor and I watched this stuff and I went, I want to have you in my practice because he's that friggin' smart and he's that good. I love it. Um, so anyway, we're going to peel away that levator. We're going to open up the shoulder. We're going to hit that, uh, that long head of that tricep, free up that scapula. That's a big thing we're doing is remember if you looked at yesterday, if you have the ability to reflexively act on that scapula and make it stable so the primary engines can move that shoulder around properly, you're not going to get injured. It's just that simple. Hey, it's just like that, right? That's what we do. Hey, shoulder mechanics, super stable shoulders. I'm Trev, Smashworks. Have an awesome day. See you guys tomorrow.